Let's talk about three of the biggest factors that are indicating it's time for you to focus on self-love. This is Krishanti with Krishanti.com and I'm so excited you're here. Self-love is something that most of us have to work on in this lifetime, but it ebbs and flows. Like sometimes we're really good and sometimes we're not so good. So it's important to know that this is ever changing and ever flowing. And as long as we are aware of it, we can work on that cultivation of self-love and get us back to a good place when we need to. So sign number one is how you interact with other people and how you allow other people to treat you. If you find that you're letting people treat you in ways that you don't like, but you're tolerating it, that's a sign that it's time to work on your self-love. Now this also goes for whether or not you're comparing yourself to other people, which is something a lot of us do, especially in this age of social media. So you compare someone, put yourself down, that's a sign you need to work on your self-love. Now the second thing is self-criticism. This is easy to spot if you just notice that you look in the mirror and you put yourself down or someone gives you a compliment and you negate it or you tell yourself you're dumb or like, God, oh, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Or you're like, God, you idiot. Or, oh, you look so bad. Or like, gosh, you're never going to, you know, get rid of those, whatever it is trying to get rid of on your body. You know what I mean? Um, negative self-talk is a huge sign and self-criticism, huge sign that it's time to work on self-love. And while I'm talking about this, if you're thinking about things in your life, like signs that you've known it's time to work on self-love, or if you know like you feel pretty good or maybe not so good, share in the comments because it's so exciting to see what other people have to say. I wanna know what you have to say and where you are with this whole self-love thing, which is such an important deal. This is not narcissism. This is self-acceptance, which is really, really, really important. So I'd love to hear about your path and your journey and other people would too. It's really, really helpful. Um, the third really insidious way to tell that it's time to work on self-love is noticing where you're self-sabotaging. And I say insidious because some of us self-sabotage and we aren't even really aware of it. But think about it. Are you eating really healthily? Are you exercising? This isn't just for appearance, this is for your health. Are you really like focusing on doing things that are good for you? Are you thinking about what is in your best interest, like career-wise, with, with your friends, with people in your life? Are you spending time with people who are good for you? Or are you doing things that maybe hurt you or set yourself back? Why I say again, why it's insidious is we do these things, these self-sabotaging things, it's almost like un underground, like undercover, like in the background. It's like we don't even know we're sabotaging ourselves, like doing things we know are not good for us. So just take a moment to think about ways in which you could be operating that are actually sabotaging your like best interests. And that will be a clue that it's time to focus on self-love. Now, this is just a video about how to tell when it's time to deepen into your practice of self-love. It's part of a series though, we're gonna talk about other ways to cultivate that self-love. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, come on over. And if you're looking for ways to get on this right now, I've got a whole library of really beautiful channeled guided meditations that are actually energy healings and some of them I know are really, really excellent with helping with self-love and a lot of different issues that come up in life. So check that out, it's at krishanti.com. Thank you so much for being here and check out the other self-love videos. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.